Hello everyone. I wanted to give a post match analysis about the big India Australia match. Like I said the Chennai wicket did turn a lot and Indian spinners came into play. Uh, Jadeja took the most wickets, three wickets. Kuldeep Yadav the one that I said would be key picked up the uh, wickets of the dangerous David Warner and Glenn Maxwell. And it was a big bonus that Umra got Mitchell Marsh out early enough. And the Indian bowling was totally clinical. India managed to restrict Australia to 199. The pitch was difficult and it was turning a lot. And I did think at the halfway stage that India will need to bat very well to get to 200 because the pitch was challenging. Like we also, India lost three wickets for just two runs. Ishan Kishan's shot was shocking. For an international player to play that shot, that was his first ball that he faced. It was almost a wide and he didn't even move his feet and just slashed at the ball and he was caught. It was a ball that you should have just left alone considering you are chasing 200 and a World Cup match. An international player needs to play with more responsibility and dedication. Anyway, I, for India's sake, I hope Shubman Gill comes back soon. And then Rohit Sharma went out to a good ball. But Rohit Sharma does have his problems when the ball comes in. Hazelwood, I did mention in my video, was balls keep wicket to wicket. And the ball did move a lot when we batted under the lights. But Rohit Sharma's wicket was a very good ball. And uh, Shreya Sire, who I consider a solid batsman, was played a shocker of a shot when we were two wickets down. That was an irresponsible shot. And suddenly, two for three, it really looked like India were going to lose. But KL Rahul and Virat Kohli, the two most solid Indian batsmen, put up in a great partnership. And the most important thing about the partnership was how easy they batted and how low risk shots they played. Even a commentator said that two, three times in the commentary that they were playing low risk shots. But obviously India could afford to do that because India was just chasing a small total of 200. So India had that luxury to take the time. But Kohli and Rahul took the singles and paced their innings well. But no commentator said this, and I would like to strongly say that Pat Cummins' uh, captaincy was really substandard. At 2 for 3, he could have really won the match for Australia. Instead, after 10 overs, he took the fielders away and, and he gave easy singles to the Indian batsmen. I was a big Hansi Kronia fan, South African captain, and I've always seen him. I grew up watching him, and he always used to put the field up for the spinners, and he would invite the batsmen to go over the top and take the risk, but not give, give easy singles. Any good captain, like I would say Stephen Fleming, uh, if Shane Warne was in a captain for Australia, much longer, but he had the best cricket brain, Shane Warne would have definitely put, and if Shane Warne was in the commentary, he would have really criticized the captaincy because Rahul and Kohli were just taking, milking easy singles and taking the pressure off. But anyway, for India, that was good. So I wanted to mention that. And I did say about Adam Zamba that he has been going for runs and he is low on confidence. He did go for a lot of runs. In eight overs, he went for 53 runs, didn't take a wicket. Uh, to his defense, uh, there was a bit of due towards the end and the ball wasn't spinning. But he wasn't flighting the ball and he bowled like a man with low confidence. And there was a point where Rahul hit three fours of the Zamba over. That actually eased the pressure a lot. Anyway, I'm sure Indian have, uh, fans will be happy after the match. And to all youngsters and uh, watching, school cricketers, club cricketers, this is the way to bat, to take, low, to take low risk and play proper cricketing shots. Kohli and uh, Rahul never played any sweep shots or fancy reverse sweeps or slot sweeps. They just played normal orthodox cricket to win the match for India. And that's very important for children to learn. Because in these days with the T20 era, a lot of children want to play the scoop shot, reverse sweeps, all these funny cricketing shots, all funny non-cricketing shots. But that's not the way to play. This is the proper way to bat. So well done to Kohli and Rahul especially. 
India should be confident now. If they can win from two or three against Australia, it would give them a lot of confidence. And with Shubman Gill coming back into the team, India would be strong. Uh, I was surprised to see Suri Umar Yadav omitted. But Shrey Sayar is a very good batsman as well. So that's Indian selection. It's their job to do. India's next match is against Afghanistan. And the big match against Pakistan is on Saturday. So that's it for me. I hope you all enjoyed the game. And I should say I've been watching cricket since I was four years old. I've never really seen India winning a match from two, two for three. Three wickets down for two runs or something similar to it. So it's the first time I'm seeing so and I'm really glad about it. And I hope India goes on in the same way. India-Pakistan match will be at Ahmedabad, rightfully so, because it's the biggest ground in India. 110,000 capacity and I'm sure it will be a full capacity match. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, take care and God bless you.